Hi, this is Phil Engine. Welcome back to CES 2010. We're still with Bruce on the Toshiba stand. Now, Bruce, uh, we're going to look at Kira 2 technology. So, first of all, tell us about it and, and what's so unique about it. Okay, what's great about our Kira 2 panel this year is it's part of our, our cell infrastructure. We're taking our cell processor, the most powerful processor found in TVs today by leaps and bounds. We're marrying it with our most advanced backlighting LED backlit LCD panel. So this is an LCD TV, but what we've done compared to a traditional LCD is we removed the fluorescent bulbs, we replaced it with a full matrix of LEDs behind the panel. Gives you good energy efficiency, gives you very uniform brightness. Now, because we've got the power of the cell processor, we can now break this set down into 512 zones to control the brightness of the picture in certain zones. So it's only with local dimming that you can have the blackest blacks and whitest whites on screen at the same time and the more zones that you have the better control you have over your picture and the display we have here is our Kira 2 panel powered by the cell processor with the right hand side having the diffuser panel removed so that you can see how each zone is controlled very specifically the LEDs are bright where they need to be dark where they need to be and finely detailed in between. Now there's a lot of confusion about LED technology. Yep. A lot of people thinking it's a new TV and it's not, it's an LCD TV. So maybe you can explain that and, and the different backlighting techniques and what makes yours stand out? Well, with the, with the Kira 2 panel, what an LED TV is again, it's an LCD television set and behind the LCD structure, instead of fluorescent bulbs, there are LEDs. Now there are several different ways that you can get those LEDs into the set. You can put them along the perimeter and have edge lit LEDs, give you very attractive design, give you a very bright, beautiful picture. When you do full matrix, it enables that local dimming feature. So an LED TV is an LCD TV. When you add full matrix with local dimming, you're going to get the best performance. When you take the next step and use the cell processor with the Kira 2 panel, you get twice the brightness of a standard LED, and you get five times, again, 512 zones for your local dimming. Another thing, Bruce, I want to talk about is the different dimming techniques. Now, you're talking about local dimming, and that will confuse people who maybe have seen edge lit LEDs where it's a global dimming. Yeah. So can you explain that? Absolutely. The way traditional LCD TV works, whether it have a fluorescent bulb as a backlight or edge lit LEDs, is they work in uniform all together. So if the scene is very dark, the bulbs can dim to give deep, rich blacks. If the scene is very bright, the output of the bulbs all increase together, giving very bright lights. It's where you have that mixture of darks and whites on the screen that an edge lit LED TV or a fluorescent level TV has to make the compromise and not get the whitest whites or the blackest blacks and have somewhat of a compromise. With that local dimming, if this part of the picture is white, the LEDs can be on full brightness. And this part of the picture is black, they can be full off. It's the only way to have the blackest blacks and whitest whites on screen at the same time. And before we wrap up here, yeah. why should people go out and have a look at Cell TV and your technology? What makes it unique? What makes Cell TV unique is, again, as a wrap up, the power of the processor. The processing makes the picture. For a Cell TV to be able to take an incoming standard two dimensional image and turn it to 3D on the fly, 480 frames per second, 120 frames to each eye on the fly, it's that processing that makes everything you see here possible. It's the heart of our TV is the Cell processor. Bruce, thanks very much for great your time. Thank it's you very great much. Great to see you. Great meeting you. Come and join us for more videos from CES very soon.